hello. Um, okay, I wrote this in fourth grade after visiting an old penitentiary, which is like an old jail, um, and in my city with my, um, fourth grade class, um, and at this jail, actually, um, one of the TV shows that Hunt Ghosts went to it, um, and these people had to... I don't know what they did, but they quarried rocks. The jail people were meant made to quarry rocks for some reason, because there's a bedrock kind of thing nearby. Well, anyway, I wrote this in fourth grade and recorded it in a, a diary um, in the year 2000. Okay. So this is, like, about one of the cells. I went in how I felt. I have to swallow. Hmm billowed around her face, beating the pants off, skidded to a stop, tidy squares of lawn, her knuckles whitened, cut at my nerves, shrugged elaborately, a gust of wind tossed her, hair, rattled the branches, sent cold, fingers down spine, wind whipped curls, eyes sparkled, whirlwind of leaves, bones churned to water, icy lump in throat, holly tree tapped against window, you shook with sobs, clung still statues, murky, flight can tight that I can't breathe, clouds scud across the sky, dwindle in the distance. So, I was like surprised when I read that, I was, I was just like, wow, I wrote that. I remember though, um, reading it aloud, because everyone had to write like a poem or something about what they felt, and the teacher was like, wow, Heather, that's really good. Uh, yeah, I remember reading that aloud, and I thought it was really good, too. It was, like, one of the first times I was really inspired by darkness to write poetry. Um, and that's, like, one of my first, like, um, darkness-inspired spiritual love poems that I love to write, that I like to write. And perhaps it did capture a spirit, the spirits of the place, the cold and hollow place. Well, thank you for listening. I will talk to you later. Bye.